Welcome to the ETA Real-Time Intelligent Load Shedding System Demonstration. The objective of this presentation is to cover the following topics. The need of a proactive load preservation system, features and capabilities of ETA by LS, industries in the need of load shedding solutions, and the ETAP ILS architecture. The need of a proactive load preservation system. Any system is susceptible to larger scale disturbances, such as faults, generator trips, eye landing, and more. The longer the load shedding system waits to react to a disturbance, more load is required to be shed. Generator controls, such as exciters and governors, cannot act fast enough to these sudden requirements. The load shedding system needs to act faster even than protection schemes as they may cascade further events. Without a protective load shedding scheme, your system is susceptible to loss of production and even blackouts. A proactive system will also look at type of location of the disturbance. The system response to a disturbance depends greatly to the location of the event. The power requirements from the generators will be greater when a fault, for example, is closer to the generation bus than far away in an MCC in the process plant. The load shedding system needs to understand the location of the fault. Another important factor is the type of disturbance. Steam pressure drops, for example, may cause partial decrease of generation, and you may need only to shed a small amount of load in comparison to one generator or two generator tripping. A non-proactive system does not differentiate between type and location of a disturbance. A proactive system will also take system operating conditions variance into account. Every system is unique, but what is common is the variation of loading. Sometimes it can be cyclic or it could be random, depending on how much load is there in the system at the time of the disturbance. The load shedding system needs to respond accordingly. If the operating load is closer to the capacity of the system, the system is more susceptible to a stability loss. Load variation of feeder must be taken into account when a breaker is selected for tripping. It makes a big difference to drop a feeder operating at 1 megawatt of load compared to when it's operating at 5 megawatts. This is very common in industrial networks such as mines where loads constantly move from location to location and can operate at random times. In utility systems, although load can be roughly predicted in a given day, it can suddenly change to unforeseen condition. Especially now that renewable and microgrids are being introduced, sudden weather conditions can change load quickly. System topology is also important to know when performing load shedding and selecting loads to drop. Breaker operations greatly affect the behavior of the power flows as they change the impedance seen to the generation as well as the capacity of transferring power from point A to point B. Monitoring the operation of switching devices is a key factor on deciding which loads to drop, as they could be in a separate network if eye landing has occurred. At the time of performing load shedding, it is required to analyze how much generation we have available. This has a direct impact on the available generators to respond to sudden changes. A reliable and intelligent load shedding system can help you reduce such costs by reducing required spinning backup generation. Changes on your governor settings also impact the way system responds. They must be taken into account when transient conditions occur. At the time of the disturbance, it is also important to consider the operating mode. Is the network connected to the grid? Is it islanded? With an interconnected system, the load shedding system needs to consider maximum and minimum import and export power contracts as violating such limits can cause large penalties. After eye landing or operating eye landed, most of the time the system is operating with limited generation capacity. A reliable load shedding system is even more critical as any unbalance of load and generation can develop into an unstable system. The bottom line is that with different operating conditions, you get different response. A proactive system will look at existing conditions and prepare for disturbance events. So when they happen, the system is ready to respond accordingly. In summary, to perform proper load shedding, it is required to account for the following parameters at the time of the disturbance. 
system topology, configuration, operating status, generation levels, power exchange, operating load, the spinning reserves, disturbance type and location, and transient response to disturbances. Since it is impossible to account for all of these and respond in milliseconds, then the only method to achieve this is predicting system response. In the next section, we will discover how ETA by LS can achieve this goal. Now let's look at the features and capabilities of the ETAP Intelligent Load Shedding System ILS. The ETAP ILS system is composed of the three integrated solutions. Load Preservation, which is the engine monitoring the electrical network and deciding how much and which loads to shed. We call it Load Preservation versus Load Shedding because its primary goal is to shed as less load as possible to maintain the stability of the system. Load Restoration as the name implies, this is the engine that monitors the system and indicates to the operator when it is okay to restart a shedded load. And load shedding validation, which is unique to ETAP. There is no other load shedding system that can allow the user to validate the response of their load shedding system before getting implemented or performing updates. The key of an intelligent load shedding system is the understanding of the electrical network. If this is covered, the load shedding system will be able to accurately predict system response and therefore be prepared for transient and steady state disturbances. In ETAB ILS, this is achieved by the system model. The system model is represented in ETAB ILS by one line diagram of the system. In fact, this model is the same model utilized by electrical engineers on site and consultants performing system analysis of the electrical systems. The main difference is that this model is now connected to the ETAP data acquisition system collecting data from the field via IEC 61850, DMP3, and other protocols. The intelligence of predicting system response is that the one-line data provides the current conditions of the network and the model provides us the understanding of the system, given that the model contains a steady state and dynamic data of the components in the network. Governor and excited settings that we can find in the model. As well as transformer ratings. And other components gives a complete understanding of the network behavior. Not that ETA by LS is looking at the entire network and not only at a single parameter or component to make decisions. This is also another important fact in why ETA by LS can perform optimization of the entire network. As you can see, it provides a clear picture of the system distribution as well as data required to understand system response. It is also nice for operators and engineers to visualize the network distribution. The Proactive Evaluation System also analyzes existing operating conditions, predicts system response, and determines how much load to shed. ETA by LS monitors existing operating conditions and uses this information to determine system response. This allows for a much smarter and faster intelligent load shedding. It then uses this information to determine how much load to shed for a given transient or a steady state disturbance. In order for ILS to select the optimum loads to shed, it utilizes user-defined load priorities. In addition, it is important to understand process behavior. In many cases, dropping one load can cause other loads to trip. Hardware and process interlocks must be incorporated and taken into account when performing load shedding. ETAB ILS provides an easy to use user interface to enter this information. In the ETAB ILS load control editor, we can add, remove loads, and update priorities and interlocks easily without the need of reprogramming controllers or relays. Just by manipulating the ILS default load priorities, or grouping loads under the interlocks, we can achieve the goal of setting up the system.
The ETABIOS provides a friendly interface to monitor the load sharing system. For each contingency being evaluated by ILS, the operator or engineer can monitor critical parameters such as a spinning reserve, required load to shed, and actual load to shed in case that contingency were to occur. ETA by LS logic is available for engineers with the right permissions to perform modifications without going into the relays or PLCs to do so. A limited number of schedules can be set up and updated into the ALS system without the need of bringing the system down. All we will need to do is go to the server and update the selected new schedule. Note that with the selected new schedule, there is a new priority list and loads to shed will be taken accordingly. All the events and alarms during the operation of load shedding are stored in the event viewer from the ETA real-time system. Loads that have been shed, loads that have been alarmed, Triggers that have been executed, all that information can be found in the ETAP real-time event viewer. One of the powerful features in ILS is the automatic handling of loads to shed based on the, how the network is interconnected. The system can identify an unlimited number of islands and shed loads accordingly. Let's look at it in the model. We will navigate through the model to a location where these triggers can be found. Let's open the ILS trigger monitor. Not the ILS trigger monitor demonstrates one system index in both triggers and loads, the subsystem. The subsystem indicates in which subsystem the loads and triggers are located. If the network islands, a new subsystem index is assigned to the new island. Let's see this. I will simulate the eye landing of this plant. Note that as I set the overrides to open those two breakers, we can see an update on the system subsystems. We can see that this load is now part of a different subsystem in the network. Let's create another island. As you can see, more and more new subsystems have been created in the system. Now for generator A, know that the loads that are available for load shedding have changed. Now generator A belongs to subsystem 1, so only loads available under subsystem 1 will be able to shed under that particular trigger. It is important to understand that this is done automatically without the need of any programming. Based on the ETAB model, ETAB ILS understands the topology of the system and performs the assignment of subsystems automatically. In an under-frequency system, it is almost impossible to set up network islands. In a PLC-based network, it can take hundreds of conditions to identify islands even in an industrial network, with ETAB is automatic. ETAB ILS can respond within 20 to 30 milliseconds to transient conditions. It can also perform time-controlled load shedding under demand-response scenarios, such as 
excess power demand, equipment overload, sequential shutdown of process. ILS is not limited to electrical disturbances. ETAB ILS can respond to mechanical and electrical disturbances such as generator breaker trips, utility maker breaker trips, fuel availability, process alarms, faults in the system, spin and reserve availability, and more. It contains a usable customizable trigger editor that can map electrical and non-electrical data coming from SCADA systems, DCS, relays, and more. In conclusion, the load preservation module is a very powerful yet easy to use application within ILS to optimize load shedding, identify islands, and respond to electrical and non-electrical disturbances occurring. Now let's look at load restoration. ETA load restoration monitors electrical and non-electrical conditions to determine when loads can be restored or not. It also has the capability of automatically starting loads when safely permits. Load restoration comes with load inhibition, which becomes active until loads can be restarted safely. The HMI screens will indicate the operator when it is safe to start the loads. The program utilizes load restoration logic and priorities to determine which loads can be started and when. It uses logical load sequencer to restart the process. It also has an open logic editor for customizing the logic. The next topic is load shedding validation. The ETAB ILS is a complete suite that allows the user to start from simulation to implementation. After configuring the ILS system, the user can proceed to simulate the triggers in the ILS simulator. The ILS simulator is a duplicate of the real-time application with the exception that it can take data from load flow module and user-defined data. The next step is to evaluate the actions by viewing them in the ILS trigger monitor. Then they can be analyzed dynamically using the transient stability calculations. Once it is approved, the logic and priority tables can be uploaded to the real-time load shedding system. The load shedding system supports the engineer with validating the results from ILS before implementing in the network. It can utilize real-time data as well as user-defined and simulated data. All the applications within ETAP are available to perform such validations, such as load flow, transient stability, motor acceleration, and more. The validation process can consist of simulating and analyzing triggers such as loss of generation, under frequency, me mechanical failures, steam pressure decays, overloads, and other conditions leading to load shed. Let's look at the following example on how validation is performed with ETAB ILS. I will utilize this simplified network representing an industrial facility with on-site generation and tied to the grid. Let's go into the ILS mode. Since I am in simulation model, I will transfer the loading by clicking on the Get Online Data button. In real-time mode, all of these steps are done without operating intervention. Now let's look at the disturbances being monitored by ILS. Since right now we're tied to the utility, as we can see here, uh, the only trigger that will be enabled will be the utility trip, actually eye landing from the grid. We can see that ETAB ILS is actually recommending to shed this circuit breaker in case the grid were to trip. To perform a dynamic validation of the results, we can execute the transient stability case directly from ILS. I will select to immediately run this, the system study using a different presentation. Note that transient stability is automatically activated and the study is executed. To determine the effect of the system after this event is, is to look at the frequency of the system. We can look at the substation B frequency.
In this particular case, we can see that ILS is giving us correct results, as frequency returns to the original operating value. If we zoom into the plot, we can see frequency started at 100%, and if we go look at the end, after some time, we go back to 100%. We can go back to the same study case that we just executed, go to the events, look at the shed events, and disable the actual shedding of circuit breaker 18 and see what happens with the system. If we go back and look at the same substation frequency, we can see the transient, and if we zoom into the plot, we can see that we are under the scheduled frequency or the standard operating frequency which means that these generators are overloaded. In this manner we can simulate or test every single condition that is being generated by ETA by LS. The industries that are in need of intelligent load shedding systems are systems requiring transient and steady state control of load and generation. They are operating within limited generation levels and are operating critical safety related loads. The ETA by LS monitors the online data and continuously analyzes it for contingencies. When a contingency disturbance is detected, ILS shares the loads required based on the predicted results within 20 to 30 milliseconds. The ILS system is a server client architecture. It monitors and analyzes the following parameters, system frequency, available spinning reserve, operating voltages and power flows, generation and loading, user-defined logic, system configuration status, interlock and switch and sequence logics. ETA ILS doesn't require costly hardware replacement. It is a hardware independent system. It uses all standard protocols and communication architectures using communications such as IEC 61850, Modbus, DMP3, MMS, and others. During normal operation, the system monitors the triggers. In addition, under frequency protection is set in place in case a condition is not detected as a backup setting. The ETA by LS is configured normally as a high availability system with hardware redundancy, communication redundancy, backup intelligence, and controllers. In conclusion, the ILS system is a powerful, flexible, user-friendly load sharing solution for systems operating generation and critical loads where non-interrupter operation is a must. The key features we looked at in this presentation included user-defined load priority, unlimited load sharing schedules, operator-friendly interface, online testing to validate ILS actions, load restoration, hardware independent, and high availability system. For more information, please contact us at the display links and phone numbers. Thank you for listening to this presentation.